you know why we're sitting down? Because we are sitting on the edge of our seats. Yeah. And you might well be by the end Very of the show. Exciting. And why is that? Well, it's a bit nerve-wracking this morning. Uh, she is a loose woman. She is the pride of Britain. Today, though, she's going to undertake the biggest challenge of her life. Come in, Carol Vorderman. Over. Are you there? Over. Mm -hmm. I time. am here. Oh, flying I'm... school. I, I know. I'm at Gloucestershire Airport. And I'm about to do, in about an hour's time, my first solo in this beauty. And uh, that means it's the first time I will ever have taken off, gone around an airfield and landed all by myself without an instructor by my side. You look... I'm sure you're very <laughs> nervous. So nervous. <laughs> yeah, you look very nervous, Carol, but you also seem very excited. I am. Yeah. I am. I'm so excited. Right now, I'm jumping up and down and, you know, and I'm like a little nervous as a kitten, but just... just want to do it you know desperately want to do it now you'll be brilliant i bet you're the star pupil in that air school <laughs> um, not so sure yeah. well, <laughs> but a lot of bumpy practices well don't worry carol if anything goes wrong we've got it filmed recorded for air crash investigation <laughs> they'll have all the evidence <laughs> that they need you won't need a black box or anything else <laughs> We're there. <laughs> and yeah, I could rely on you, Eamon. Okay, yeah. do I wish I was with well, you. Well, we're coming back live to you later to find out more about it, and we will actually be seeing Carol live yes. right here on the show doing her doing first it. ever yeah. solo flight. First Thank solo. You. Yeah. See you later. It's never been recorded before. Flying you solo. You are horrid. I'm not. I love flying. I would love to be. She's living the dream. I'd love to be doing what she's you doing. You shouldn't mention air crash investigation in the same sentence as someone doing their first yeah, solo flight. You know flight. it's my favourite programme. <laughs> you know. She knows too. Yeah. You know when we are flying. I tell you what the noises all mean. Yes, I don't listen. Um, Our earphones on. Anyway, flying she's, solo in yes, the hub. Who on her own. Got? Lauren. Yes, I am flying solo today, but my feet are staying firmly on the ground. Thank you very much. Um, we're discussing the age when we become our parents today, and apparently it's the age of 32. Yes, it's in our early 30s that we start echoing phrases and mannerisms that once made us wince as a teenager. But what are the... Let's see who else is dropping in to see us today. That so far this summer we've covered cats, dogs, rabbits and all sorts of... Rodents. Yes, yeah, gerbils and yes. hamsters and okay. furry things. In the vet clinic today with uh, Paul Magdalo. He's important news. I, uh, I wasn't very good with tortoises. I had a few mistakes <laughs> no. over the years. Do you know what I learned? Do you know when you paint the name on the tortoise? Mm -hmm. Don't do it with silver paint. Oh, it's not good. It's toxic. Okay, we won't do that. Also this morning, a recent study has identified that men who kill their families can be separated into four distinctive types. Yeah, we've got today Professor David Wilson is here. We're also going to be talking to Jeanette Clements for 13 months. And this is what you get on your midweek summer this morning. We begin today, it's chocks away, not in the studio, but 100 miles away at Gloucestershire Airport. We're going to go to Jenny Faulkner, who is with you. You've already met her. A very excited Carol Vorderman. It is an amazing thing she's got uh, planned. And today is, is a very key moment in what she is trying to do. Let's go to Jenny and Carol and find out more. Hi there. Morning, Eamon. Morning, Ruth. Yes. Very important day in the life of Carol Vorderman. <laughs> You're like her very own Biggles. Aren't you? Um, <laughs> tell me, okay, how are you feeling? Because this is your first solo yeah, attempt. It's my first. What, uh, pi all pilots remember their first solo because it's the first time you go up in the aeroplane by yourself, do a six-minute circuit of an airfield, and land hopefully safely and all safe and sound. And uh, Deb is my instructor. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be doing a little bit more practicing before Deb gets out, and then I fly off by myself. I am absolutely. Excited Excited, 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 and nervous, nervous, right up there, nervous. You're going quite high. How high are you going? About a thousand feet. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, she'll yeah. be going a thousand Spot feet. Spot on a thousand <laughs> feet, Jim, don't you worry. I know that you said that having all the TV cameras here is kind of helping you take your mind off a little bit. Mm. I suppose when you get in there on your own. Yeah, then, yes, well, we have a helicopter shadowing me up there. And, just uh, to, to ease the pressure. Just to ease the pressure. <laughs> um, and we did uh, some rehearsals with oh, the helicopter days, yesterday, yeah. so... Um, Obviously, but this would be my first time by myself. <gasps> I know. Yeah. And Dad, what kind of pupil is Carol? It's been really good. She's been so enthusiastic, and when you're enthusiastic and you're calm, it's very easy to learn. So, uh, and she learns the way I teach. So yeah, it's been she's been good. Okay, it's now been that's good fun. <laughs> well, that's it. You can yeah. do logical problems in there together easily. Yeah. Um, so come on. In terms of weather, is this good? 
brilliant. Yeah, yeah. we tried to do this a couple of weeks ago and uh, the weather didn't favour us at all, but today, no, absolutely brilliant. Couldn't have ordered better. Okay, so any last minute tips for Carol before she goes off? We'll leave that for the aeroplane, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, well, look, it's yes. a very big day and it's also part of a bigger plan, isn't it? Yes, my bigger plan is, because it's something I've always wanted to do since I was a teenager, is to fly around the world solo, which is called a global solo, next year, late next year, uh, to follow Amelia Earhart's plant route. And uh, so I want to get a world record from the fastest, from first solo to the global solo. Hopefully it'll be the fastest anybody's ever done. It's very exciting. And it's a day of first because not only is it your first solo, this is also the first thing for own television. Yes. So there we go. This morning has already... It's a, it's a scoop for us and we're thrilled that you're doing it on our show, Carol. Thank you so much. Take yeah. a deep breath, have a cup of tea. The, the noise that you're hearing there is the helicopter overhead. We're going to be filming uh, a helicopter over Carol's plane and we've got cameras on the ground as well. So uh, We're not actually allowed to film her in the cockpit during her solo flight, but we yeah, did some that's... stuff with her yesterday, so you will be able to see that. But we will be able to hear her. Yeah. You'll be able to hear her talking to the tower and then to her, so it's all So, Carol, exciting. turn off your mobile phone, your iPod, fold up your uh, table uh, in, your, in your seat, <laughs> uh, doors to manual and cross-check and uh, mm -hmm. she'll be ready to go yeah. very, very shortly. Uh, so we'll have a look through the headlines of the papers today with uh, actress Susie Amy and political editor Nigel Nelson. She's while doing Karen's, those pre-flight yeah, pre checks. Pre checks. Yeah, That's what so that uh, we're going to go to Peru first of all, guys, and um, uh, there's some confusion over whether these uh, two women in Peru have been charged or not. The prosecutor's office say they have lawyer. Uh, he's saying that he's not clear on this one yet. And forced to do this. Um, but you have to question why they didn't go to authorities in the airport because obviously the gunmen that they claim um, had forced them to do this weren't with them at the time. So it is a very difficult situation, I think. I mean, it is actually looking quite bleak for them at the moment. The, mm. And the real problem, um, should they be sentenced, there's a good chance they'd be able to serve the majority of them. Have those awful one to three years before you... Why should they, if they're guilty, why should they serve the sentence back here? I mean, why are we paying well, for the problem then well, if they well, were guilty? Because we, se we, we send, send their nationals back there. Uh -huh. I mean, the, the idea is partly it's humanitarian because it means that they can be close to their families. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're going to be thousands of miles away. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side of it, it, it is almost a, a cost type thing rather than us. Okay. Well, we have seen the conditions in the prisons. It's meant to be absolutely and horrendous and, and one isn't expecting for them to be fed that day either. So it is a very bleak situation yeah. for the girls at the moment in Peru. Um, Susie, you're on Twitter. I'm yeah. on Twitter. Are you, aware or are you wary of um, giving out too much information there? Because that brings us to this Rebecca Adlington story and the theory is that her house was burgled after she tweeted she wasn't in it. Recently mm. too, and now Rebecca Adlington came home and thought her medals were missing. Thankfully they weren't. But the problem is, if you're tweeting where you are and the community knows where you live... And you're such they a can high, assume. You're so high profile mm. Absolutely. As well. So yeah. high profile. Everybody knows that the medals are... Look uh, at me, uh, here it, I yeah. am, here uh, The whole there. thing about, about Twitter is that you have to keep in your mind all us saying, not at home. I mean, it is the same thing I mean, if you put it on Twitter. I mean, could have been at home, though. Just saying that she's away from home. Mm. There could have been friends staying. There yes, could but have when been... you say we're both out... It yeah, does sound I, like I, we're both out. It kind of sends a message. I think people do need to be very aware. I mean, you're yeah. putting it out there to thousands oh. of people. OK, let's look at a different situation, Nigel. Front page of the Sun today. Right, they're saying, um, you know, you, you've got a lot of uh, prisoners and offenders who get jobs whilst they're in jail. Um, it's a call centre opening up in a jail. To uh, property owners and saying, could you let us know to your insurance list? To add to your insurance. Just I mean, give us your postcode while you're there. Presumably yeah. that you have on there. And by the way, do you remember the code <laughs> on your on your safe? Um, it, it is bizarre. I mean, what recorded and the, the the prisoners are risk assessed, and it's all might think twice before handing them. Would we? Way. I don't think we'd be necessarily told that the call centre. Yeah, or I'm speaking to you from Newcastle or wherever it happens to be. <laughs> But they wouldn't necessarily, I'm speaking... Is though, anybody with criminal <laughs> intention could go and get a job at an insurance company. If they wanted to go and burgle people's right. homes, anybody with that intention could go and seek out that kind of job. But no, they are only telling customers, as they're cold calling, that they're calling on behalf of and the call centre. And this is part of a, a scheme to get inmates working. Which, which is great. You know, so We've sat here before that saying, you know, they're good. all in there, you know, on PlayStation. But they're also and employing TVs them for, for £20 a week, so they are getting good value, these insurance companies, mm. too. So I, it's a very interesting one. OK. Now, are you excited about the One Direction film? Have you booked myself. Your seat? <laughs> <laughs> there was Sorry hysteria myself. in London last night in Leicester School. Good I time. am here. Ooh, flying I'm... school. 
<laughs> I know, I'm at Gloucestershire Airport and I'm about to do, in about an hour's time, my first solo in this beauty and uh, that means it's the first time I will ever have taken off, gone around an airfield and landed all by myself without an instructor by my side. You look, I'm sure you're very <laughs> nervous. So nervous. <laughs> yeah, you look very nervous, Carol, but you also seem very excited. I am. Yeah. I am. I'm so excited. Right now, I'm jumping up and down and, you know, and I'm like a little nervous as a kitten, but just, just want to do it, you know, desperately want to do it now. You'll be brilliant. I bet you're the star pupil in that air <laughs> school. <laughs> <laughs> um, not so sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but a lot of bumpy practices. <laughs> well, don't worry, Carol. If anything goes wrong, we've got it filmed, recorded for air crash investigation. <laughs> They'll have all the evidence <laughs> that they need. You won't need a black box or anything else. <laughs> We're there. <laughs> and yeah, I could rely on you, Eamon. Okay, yeah. do I wish I was with well, you. Well, we're coming back live to you later to find out more about it, and we will actually be seeing Carol live yes. right here on the show doing her doing first it. ever yeah. solo flight. First Thank solo. You. Yeah. See you later. It's never been recorded before. Flying you solo. You are horrid. I'm not. I love flying. I would love to be. She's living the dream. I'd love to be doing what she's you doing. You shouldn't mention air crash investigation in the same sentence as someone doing their first yeah, solo flight. You know flight. it's my favourite programme. <laughs> you know. She knows. My bigger plan is, because it's something I've always wanted to do since I was a teenager, is to fly around the world solo, which is called a global solo, next year, late next year, uh, to follow Amelia Earhart's planned route. And uh, so I want to get a world record from the fastest, from first solo, to the global so hopefully it'll be the fastest anyone's ever done. Very exciting. And it's a day of first because not only is it your first solo, this is also the first being put out on television. Yes. So there we go. This morning has already. Thank it's, you. A, it's a scoop for us and we're thrilled that you're doing it on our show, Carol. Thank you so much. Take yeah. a deep breath, have a cup of tea. The the noise that you're hearing there is the helicopter overhead. We're going to be filming uh, a helicopter over Carol's plane and we've got cameras on the ground as well so uh, we're not actually allowed to film her in the cockpit during her solo flight but we yeah, did some that's... stuff with her yesterday so you will be able to see that but we will be able to hear her yeah. you'll be able to hear her talking to the tower and them to her so it's all so very Carol, exciting. turn off your mobile phone your ipod fold up your uh, table uh, in your in your seat <laughs> uh, doors to manual and cross check and uh, mm -hmm. she'll be ready to go yeah. very very shortly uh, so we'll have a look through the headlines of the papers today with uh, actress Susie she's, Amy and political editor Nigel Nelson. She's doing Karen's, those pre, yeah, pre flight checks. Pre -flight checks yeah, that's what so that was uh, we're going to go to Peru first of all, guys. And um, uh, there's some confusion over whether these uh, two women in Peru have been charged or not. The prosecutor. And uh, that means it's the first time I will ever have taken off, gone around an airfield and landed all by myself without an instructor by my side. You look... I'm sure you're very <laughs> so nervous. nervous. <laughs> yeah, you look very nervous, Carol, but you also seem very excited. I am. Yeah. I am. I'm so excited. Right now, I'm jumping up and down and, you know, and I'm like a little nervous as a kitten, but just, just want to do it, you know, desperately want to do it now. You'll be brilliant. I bet you're the star pupil in that air <laughs> school. <laughs> <laughs> um, not so sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but a lot of bumpy practices. <laughs> well, don't worry, Carol. If anything goes wrong, we've got it filmed, recorded for air crash investigation. <laughs> They'll have all the evidence <laughs> that they need. You won't need a black box or anything else. <laughs> We're there. <laughs> and yeah, I could rely on you, Eamon. OK, yeah. do I wish I was with well, you. Well, we're coming back live to you later to find out more about it, and we will actually be seeing Carol live yes. right here on the show doing her doing first it. ever yeah. solo flight. First Thank solo. You. Yeah. See you later. It's never been recorded before. Flying you solo. You are horrid. I'm not. I love flying. I would love to be. She's living the dream. I'd love to be doing what she's you doing. You shouldn't mention air crash investigation in the same sentence as someone doing their first yeah, solo flight. You know flight. it's my favourite programme. <laughs> you know. She knows too. Yeah. You know when we are flying. I tell you what the noises all mean. Yes, I don't listen. No. Our earphones on. Anyway, flying she's, solo in yes, the hub. Who on her own. Lauren. Yes, I am flying solo today, but my feet are staying firmly on the ground.